Clutter is currently a popular topic in the industry and many companies are seeking for Flutter developers. If you are interested in learning how to develop Flutter apps, then this session is for you. The roadmap in this video is to help you to know where to start and become a Flutter developer. Let us begin. But before we get started, just make sure you subscribe to our Edureka's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest Edureka videos. And if you are interested in getting an online training certification course in Flutter, then check out the link given in the description box. And also you have an exciting offer of 20% discount if you use coupon code called YouTube 20. So without wasting much of time, go avail the discount that is given in the description box. Before jumping into the roadmap, first let us understand Flutter a bit. Flutter was developed by Google and released in 2017. It quickly gained popularity among developers due to its ease of use, rapid development cycle, and ability to create visually appealing and highly interactive user interfaces. Flutter uses Dart as its programming language, which is a type safe and object oriented language that also developed by Google. Dart is an easy to learn language and can be used to build web applications, server side applications, and desktop applications in addition to these mobile applications. One of the key benefits of using Dart with Flutter is the hot reload feature, which allows developer to make changes to the code and see the changes in the app immediately without having to reload the entire app. With the Flutter's widget based architecture, it allows the developer to create the custom user interfaces quickly and easily. With a wide range of widgets available for building different types of UI components, this framework also includes many pre-built widgets, such as the button, text fields, sliders, and many more, which makes it easier for developer to create high-quality user interfaces without need to write a separate code for it. Now, let us see why do developers choose Flutter. As Flutter is a great choice for developers who want to build cross-platform mobile applications without having to write separate code base for each platform. This is not only saves the development time, but also makes it easier to maintain the code and keep it up to date with the latest features and security updates. Additionally, Flutter's fast development cycle also allows developers to quickly prototype and iterate on their apps making it a great choice for the startups and small businesses that need to move quickly to stay ahead of the competitions. Now that we have understood what is Flutter and why developers choose Flutter, let us move ahead and see how to become a Flutter developer. To become a successful Flutter developer, you need to have a strong foundation in Dart programming language, the knowledge of Flutter framework, experience in mobile application development, and willingness to learn and grow. By following this roadmap, you can develop skills and knowledge needed to become a successful developer and build high quality mobile apps that delight and inspire users. But many people who aim to learn Flutter will directly start with Flutter, which is a bad choice as a beginner. What I would suggest is that first you need to understand the basics of how Flutter works and how it built and what is the foundation of its particular framework. To understand Flutter, it was built using the Dart language. As Dart is the primary programming language used to build Flutter applications, you should start by learning the basics of Dart, including variables, functions, classes, operators, loops, etc. So these are the basic building blocks of any language that you want to learn. So Dart is a relatively easy to learn language as I said in the introduction and there are many resources available online to help you to get started. After you learn the basics of Dart, you can start exploring Flutter. Flutter is a rich framework that provides many features and tools for building mobile applications. You can download and install the Flutter SDK which includes everything you need to build for Flutter applications. To get started with Flutter, you can use the Flutter's command line tool to create new project. 
and then you need to run your app and perform other tasks. And you can also use Android Studio or Visual Studio Code editors, which are the integrated development environments. So that provides the additional tools and features for Flutter development. To become proficient in any new language, it is essential to have the drive to learn consistently. Starting out with the UI development can provide a sense of gratification when the initial screen of your application appears as intended which can be a source of inspiration. While working with the UI development in the Flutter, the developers may encounter several problems and bugs. However, they are the ways to proceed with UI development, such as reproducing a UI design from Dribbble or developing duplicate applications such as TikTok or WhatsApp clone or Instagram or Uber, etc. Or you can create a simple small projects as your wish. The next thing after you gain confidence in UI development, it is recommended to begin learning about API calls. So which are essential for creating any type of applications. You can use various packages such as HTTP, DO, Chopper, etc. to make an API calls. So with HTTP being the most basic package and the other serving as wrappers with the additional functionalities. So it is advisable to start with the HTTP before moving on to other packages. Once you integrate an API and make an API call, you will need to pass the API response into a model class. When working with APIs, the response typically comes in JSON format. So you will need to pass the JSON in Flutter. So once you have done with the API calls, then you need to consider integrating the database. To create database storage solutions for modern applications, it is essential for developers to learn about the database integrations. Flutter offers the various database integration options such as Firebase and Superbase for cloud-based storage and SQLite, Hive and more for local storage. Database integration is important for creating reliable and efficient apps that can handle a wide range of user needs. And as a developer, it can help us to gain experience. They can make informed decisions about which database to use based on their application's requirements. The next step we have to learn about the state management. Flutter state management is a crucial concept to understand, especially as your app grows larger and more complex. Managing the state of screens and the applications can become challenging, particularly when you need to pass data from one page to another. While it is simple to pass data during navigation from one page to another page, it can be challenging to pass data from page 1 to page 10, right? So this is where state management becomes useful. There are various state management techniques and packages available. So it is not necessary to feel overwhelmed. Provider is a good starting point since it is a fundamental state management packages. So once we have done with the state management also, then you need to learn about the project structure or the architecture of your application. Having a well-maintained project structure is crucial since it aids new developers in quickly reviewing the code and facilitates bug tracing and enables the addition or removal of the functionalities without disrupting the current functionalities. Several predefined architectures such as MVVM, MVC and TDD are available and have been created through extensive research. However, using them is not mandatory and you can design your architecture that suits your team requirements. Always keep in mind some of the factors when creating your architecture, such as simplicity, scalability, and minimal interdependency between the functionalities and code reusability. So if your architecture satisfies these criteria, then it is good to proceed with it.
By following this roadmap, you can develop the skills and knowledge needed to become successful Flutter developer. Remember, becoming a Flutter developer takes time, dedication and hard work. But with the right mindset and resources, you can build a rewarding career in the mobile app development and create apps that delight and inspire users. Now that we understood how to become a Flutter developer. Now let us see some of the skills that required to become a Flutter developer. To become a Flutter developer, you need a combination of technical and soft skills. So let me list some of the required skills to become a Flutter developer. The first skill that is very important is proficiency in Dart programming language. As I said before, Dart is the primary language used for building Flutter applications. You need to have a strong foundation in Dart as it is the building block of your framework. And the next skill that is the knowledge of Flutter framework. Flutter is a rich framework that provides many features and tools for building mobile applications. You need to be familiar with the Flutter widgets, layout system, navigation, animations and other code features. And the next skill is experience in mobile app development. So what I mean in the experience is you need to practice a lot by building a small projects or complex projects as you go ahead. So you should have experience in the mobile app development, including the knowledge of mobile app architecture, user interface designs, data storage and network communication. So whatever I have said in the roadmap, that you need to follow your entire journey and you need to practice a lot many apps and then you need to add them in your portfolio and you can apply to your dream jobs. And the next thing that you need to understand of the design patterns and the software engineering principles. You need to be familiar with the design patterns and the software engineering principles including the solid principles, MVC, and MVVM and others. So these are the important principles that you need to consider while learning Flutter. And the next skill that you need to consider is learning version control tools. So you should be familiar with the version control tools such as Git, GitHub and Bitbucket. And the next important skill is to have a problem solving skills. So it is not only an important skill to become a developer, but it is very important to join any organization. So as a Flutter developer, especially you need to encounter various problems and challenges. So you need to have a strong problem solving skills to analyze problems, identify solutions and implement them efficiently. And the next skill is the communication skill. You need to have a strong communication skills to work efficiently with other developers, designers and stakeholders to understand the model and the design and the shares that they have for your applications. The last skill in our list is continuous learning. Flutter is a rapidly evolving framework with our new updates and features being released regularly. So you need to be passionate about the continuous learning and exploring new tools and techniques that Flutter provides. By following this roadmap, you can develop the skills and knowledge needed to become a successful developer. Remember, becoming a developer takes time, dedication and hard work and also requires a combination of technical skills and soft skills. But with the right mindset and resources, you can build a rewarding career in mobile app development and you can create apps that delight and inspire users. I hope there will be many Flutter developers in future. So if you are interested in Flutter videos in this channel, then hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest Edureka videos. We Edureka wish you all the very best for your future. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries 
and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!